My husband and I just returned from a much needed vacation in Mexico. We happened to be there over Mother's Day. And since I've been a mom for a whopping year and a half now, my husband is well aware that Mother's Day has become my all time favorite holiday, AKA an excuse for an epic gift, which for me often means an experience in the form of an adventure. This year, my husband decided to surprise me with a snorkeling trip on the island of Cozumel. The day couldn't have started out more perfectly. I was gifted with a Mother's Day card along with a citrine quartz crystal ring. We had a delicious breakfast overlooking the Caribbean Ocean. My parents happened to be with us on the vacation, so they helped with the morning wake-up routine and babysitting of my son. It was just perfect. Until we arrived to the station where the tour was departing from to catch the ferry to Cozumel. The moment we arrived, the ticket agent gave us a panicked look and she shouted, where were you? Your group left half an hour ago. The meetup time was 9 a.m. and it's now 9.30. Everyone is already on their way to the ferry, which is leaving any minute. I felt horrible, a little bit over the thought of missing our snorkeling adventure, but a lot of it because I saw the look on my husband's face, which was a defeated look that said, I can't believe I ruined Mother's Day for my wife. The ticket agent summoned the nearest taxi who rushed us over to the ferry. If we were really, really, really lucky, we would make it to the ticket booth in time to purchase our ticket to maybe get on the boat. So we arrived to the ferry slip and were confronted by a line literally one mile long. There was absolutely no way if we followed the laws of nature that we would have made it. Luckily, in that moment, I chose to drop everything I know about how nature and time and long lines work. And I chose to completely surrender. We got on the back of this mile long line with five minutes to go before the ferry would see its way to our adventure without us. So I summoned up all the miracle strength I had to press pause on all my doubt filled thoughts. Thoughts that wanted to shout, it's impossible. There's no use in waiting. Just turn around and go home. Instead, I consciously chose to think that God can and does create miracles. And I don't know how it's going to happen, but we are getting on this boat in the next five minutes. That moment, for whatever miraculous reason, some shady local guy handpicked us out of hundreds of people, and he whispered into my husband's ear, hey, bro, I have these two tickets for sale to get on the ferry. Do you want them? At that point, we had nothing to lose. It was all or nothing. So we purchased the tickets off him, and we ran to the ferry. Behind us were loads of people also rushing towards the boat. And I noticed that with one minute left before the ferry was about to depart, that the ferry looked like it was at its total capacity, totally full. So just as we approached the ticket guy, he let my husband and I on the boat and he closed the door behind us and he said, that's it. We're full. We were the last ones to be allowed on the boat. One thing I do when I find it challenging to surrender is I come up with a surrender statement. It's basically an affirmation that I repeat in my head again and again to replace any negative thinking that might be going on. My go-to surrender statement is, I release control and surrender to the flow of love that surrounds me. I have no doubt that my decision to choose possibility versus impossibility, and then to consciously surrender control and to get out of my own way and let God do his magical dance is what allowed us to have a Mother's Day I will never forget. Sharing is caring, so if you liked what you heard, pay it forward, share this with a friend, and as always, happy manifesting is happy.